hi everybody. Um, good to see you. Good to be here. Um, <coughs> I had a little bit of <coughs> a rough night last night. Um, you know, I've just been laying here in this bed that I kind of clean up. There are my crutches kind of moving on a little bit, crutching a little bit. It's like, what? Do I want to do less crawl or crutch? Uh, it's both so exhausting. And um, my daughter came over last night to make me dinner. And it's been kind of a slumber party here, I have to say. Like, it's been kind of fun. Like, my bed takes up the whole living room. Everybody's in bed with me. And I've been so grateful. But last night, I was just like, ah, oh, like, ugh. I just I couldn't take it. And uh, to crawl or to crutch, really. Um, and she was really tired and she was having a hard day. And I just felt like everything wasn't right. I'm such a Libra. Like I wasn't one with the universe. And she felt like she couldn't do anything to make me happy. We've all been there. So anyway, it was kind of rough. And, um, you know, no huge thing to complain about. But it just made me feel like I've been kind of doing my best to kind of go deep and surrender and like like see the opportunity and all that stuff. And, you know, sometimes that stuff just doesn't work, you know. Sometimes that stuff just doesn't work. And I think, you know, that's the thing of like just really being where you are. And so, you know, with everything that's going on, I just invite all of you um, to feel that way too. Um, and hopefully this will be supportive. Um, I found this prayer. I, I mentioned it, I think, on the first day. It's a prayer from Valerie Carr, who is a, a Sikh activist and a writer and a poet. And um, she wrote this uh, the day, or she published it, you know, the day after Trump became president in 2016. And I'm just going to read it to all of you because I think it's really good. In our tears and agony, we hold our children close and confront the truth. The future is dark, but my faith dares me to ask, what if this darkness is not the darkness of the tomb, but the darkness of the womb? What if our America is not dead, but a country still waiting to be born? What if the story of America has been one long labor? What if all the mothers who came before us, who survived genocide and occupation, slavery and Jim Crow, racism and xenophobia and Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, political oppression, sexual assault, are standing behind us now, the mothers, whispering in our ear, you are brave? What if this is our great contraction before we birth a new future? Remember the wisdom of the midwife, Breathe, she says, then push. Now is the time to breathe, for soon it will be time to push. Soon it will be time to fight for those we love. Muslim father, Sikh son, trans daughter, indigenous brother, immigrant sister, white worker, the poor, the forgotten, the ones who cast their vote out of resentment and fear. Let us make an oath to fight for the soul of America and indeed the world. Um... The land that has that never has been yet and yet must be. That's Langston Hughes. With revolutionary love and relentless optimism, I so pray this Sikh prayer. Nanak Nam Chardi Kala Teribana Sarbat Dabala. In the name of the divine within us and around us, we find everlasting optimism. Within your will, may there be grace for all of humanity such a beautiful prayer. I'm going to, I'll put it up under, uh, this, uh, recording so you guys can copy it. <sighs> okay. So thank you everybody for being here. And just on that note, uh, I had a few questions about the last part of the prayer when it's just the open field. And I say like, you know, don't feel better, feel more. I said yesterday, and also um, I said, don't fix it, just invite people and situations in. And so I just wanted to share this. Um, you know, in the indigenous traditions that I have learned a lot from, that I prayed a lot with in this country and in South America, you know, it's brought up 
that there are two different ways to pray. There's many ways to pray, but two different kind of, um, kind of forward motion, right? So one is to pray very specifically for specific things. And I think we can get caught up in that. I think it's okay to be praying about a specific situation, but you know, we're like, there's a lot of new age kind of manifestation ideas that, you know, get really specific and really see it and use all your senses. And I think sometimes that's really helpful. Um, it just, especially if you're feeling depressed or negative or hopeless, but the way that exactly, right. So the way that I have been taught and that works for me and that I just gravitate, you know, I'm a projector and all air and I'm just like love the open field is that you prepare the field and the divine will fill it. So, you know, this thing um, that I've heard so many times in the TP of the creator has so many more ideas for you than you could possibly have for yourself. And even in this time, of chaos, destruction, and suffering, you know, to show up for, you know, what will fill the field, to clear the field, to prepare the field, to prepare ourselves to receive. It takes a lot of faith to pray that way. So that's kind of what's happening in that last bit. And if it doesn't feel comfortable or you don't really know what to do there, just be like open, you know, just like pray into your open heart and be open. And you don't know what kind of assignments you're going to receive with that. <clears throat> so on that note, let's come together. Let's find our seats. <sighs> Just being with all of it. Being with each other. Feeling your body right now. Feeling this room that you're sitting in, your home. Feeling your seat, your place in the order of things this morning. And with a long, deep breath, accepting exactly where you are right now. And, you know, if you're feeling it, asking for grace, asking for the willingness to stay open, the willingness to do things differently willingness to show up as you're doing right now so connecting your crown to the heavens your root to the earth bring your hands to your heart feel that beautiful sacred alchemy inside of you bless yourselves Okay, my beloveds, um, those of you who may be tuning in for the first time, this is a 40-day practice. You can jump in at any time. There's a practice video in the my bio if you want to practice at a different time. And uh, the meditation is crossing the threshold of death. And it's the same thing that crossing from the womb, from the tomb to the womb, and that's what solstices and that is indeed where we all are sitting today in the current state of things okay so cross your right hand on top of your left make an x you're going to bring it in front of your eyes we're breathing long and deep through our nose and we're really slowing down the breath so we're really like kind of bringing in the body sensation of crossing uh, that hour of death. And um, as I said yesterday, it helps when I breathe. I focus on my lower ribs. Like the belly is almost too deep, but the lower ribs is like kind of gets that staccato breath. And uh, your eyes are open, staring into the flesh. And then slowly you're closing your eyes and bringing it up to the third eye. And we're going to move into mouth breathing, which is a little harder. And I will let you know. So bring your hands together in front of your eyes and long deep breathing.
Tatum. And shift the breath to your mouth, long deep breathing through the mouth and releasing the soul and the spirit through the crown of the head into the infinite.
taking a deep inhale. Keeping your hands in front of your face, draw up on the mulban, the pelvic lock, the root lock, the pelvic floor, draw up and squeeze, suspend the breath. Let the breath move into every inch of the body. And exhale and release and gently come down onto your back. And bring your hands to your heart, spread your legs apart. Let the energy move freely. Feel yourself being called into the embrace of the earth. Let go, let go, let go deeper and deeper and deeper. With your hands on your chest, begin to bring your awareness back into the room, <coughs> making whatever tiny movements you need to make in order to bring yourself back into an easy meditative seat. last part of the meditation hands are on your knees or in your lap um, long deep breathing oh um, thank you um, long deep breathing and through the nose or through the mouth and we are in the field that we've created in this place between the tomb and the womb we're crossing the hour of death 
and bringing whatever situation, person, place, organization, institution, um, yourself, family members into the field and just feeling the dissolve of separation, bringing that big open prayer and um, yeah, not to fix anything, just to be rebuilding our um, ability to feel more, our resilience, our capacity, the capacity of our nervous systems. And bring the blessings. Taking deep breath, taking a moment <clears throat> to forgive yourself for anything that you think you're not doing, for anything that you've done, for any attachments to shame, <clears throat> and any harsh words anyone said to you. Just forgive yourself. Just let yourself be. Feel yourself held. And use this reservoir to 
throughout your day. Share it. Okay, my dears. Um, <clears throat> this practice is, um, I hold this by donation. Um, all my um, financial info is in the, um, my highlights under the solstice sadhana or under this recording. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Let me know if you have any questions about the practice. Okay, bye.